Here, I'm going to throw myself here on the side view so you can watch a little bit of, of gameplay. This is one of last night's games here. It is the Dallas Mavericks in Golden State to take on the Warriors. Now, it is worth noting that Steph Curry did not play for the Warriors. Everybody else in their starting lineup was available and played. Just their MVP, Steph Curry, who I deem the most important player. And you kind of saw it last night. Luka Doncic went off like three straight step back threes to kick off this game. He was literally twaxing the Warriors. A triple dub for Luka Doncic. He now has the second most triple doubles uh, at his age. He went off. And, and, and you know, congrats to Luka on the season he's having, having. Likely the rookie of the year. I believe is really close with him and Trey Young. But this game is not about Dallas. Their season is over. They're not making the postseason. This is about the defending NBA champion, back-to-back -back defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. I am concerned, ladies and gentlemen. Am I the only one that's concerned about the Warriors? If I had to pick today, I would still say they are the favorite. But fam, a rookie just, and he's a very good rookie, a rookie just went into Golden State and dominated you guys. And I don't want to hear Steph Curry would have stopped Luka Doncic. We give Steph Curry credit for his offense. We don't look at him as a, a defender in this league. So likely Luka would have got off had Steph played or not. If you wanted to argue that Luka would be a little more tired because he would have had to guard Steph Curry defensively, I'll give you that. But fam, with or without Steph, if you still got four all-star caliber players on the court and you're looking to win a championship, you got to be able on your home court to win this champ uh, to win a, a game in Golden State on a random Saturday night. Like, what is going on with Golden State? I could make the case now that the only thing that the only reason why a Warrior fan should be excited about this team going forward is that they got Steph Curry to bail them out. Like, that's what I'm looking at right now. Steph Curry, as long as he's healthy, might bail this team off and be spectacular stuff and help them win a championship. But fam, this Warriors bench is not what it used to be. Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala, they're on their last legs, bro. We're, we're heading towards the end. The effort ain't there 100% of the time. It feels like this locker room knows that this is their last go around. The Golden State Warriors a year or two ago were not losing games like this in Oracle Arena. And it's the last year in Oracle Arena, meaning this should be the most hype the fans should be. This should be the most hype the players should be because it's their last time playing. And they just don't got it. I get it. The Warriors are ready for the playoffs. But generally speaking, generally speaking, around this time of the year, the Warriors usually have it rolling. And I'm not saying that they don't lose games around this time of the year. They might lose a game or two in the last couple weeks of the regular season, but not like this. Again, Steph Curry was out. They put it as an injury, but honestly, God, true. If you looked on social media, he was out getting twerked on by his wife, Aisha Curry, celebrating her birthday. It looked like Steph was doing a little bit of twerking himself. But fam, the Warriors are going to take a defeat here to the, to, the, to the Dallas Mavericks by 25. Is it 25 or 35? They're down like 28 points right now. They're going to lose by 25 points. This is not good. This is, yo, this is not good. They lose by 35, excuse me, to the Dallas Mavericks? A team not in the playoffs? Yo, what is going on with Golden State? This is becoming an issue here. Will the Warriors be able to turn this thing around? Dirk Nowitzki gets you 21 points on possibly his last time playing in Golden State. Luka goes triple-double and goes insane in the first quarter. Kevin Durant, you're the best player in the game, right? You should be the guy that's able to step up and get your team to the promised land. What? What? I've been telling people this since day one. I'm still not 100% sure Kevin Durant can be the leader of a team that wins a championship. I still believe he needs to be second fiddle. From a vocal standpoint, I just don't believe he has the personality to lead a team. To be a leader of men. I think he just wants to go out and play basketball. I'm not mad at that. But the problem is when KD wants to be considered the best player in the game. There's a conflict of interest that the best player in the game has to lead his team. Has to be a leader in the locker room, on the court. He don't want to do all that. He just wants to go out and score 30. That's great. You can be one of the best scorers of all time, KD. But you can't be a leader. A leader doesn't allow his teams to go down this much. When y'all looking to contend for a championship. This is... This is bad, man. I, Warriors still my favorite to win the ring, but Houston is hungrier than ever. It, that, that path is all right, Golden State. Okay.